Hey everyone, Dale here. It's been a little bit since I did a video. So uh, this is what I picked up. Cheapest boat I could find on uh, Facebook. And uh, I got a running 70 horsepower Evinrude. Uh, I'm going to change the oil in the lower unit and that sort of thing. But it runs. I've seen it running. And I got the trailer and the boat with the motor for uh, 600 bucks. I thought it was a pretty good deal. So me and my daughter have been, uh, we ripped out the seats last night and uh, I'm going to put a new floor on just on top. I'm not going to rip it out. It's not worth it. I'm just going to put in it because it's a little spongy. I'm going to put another uh, probably 5 8 plywood on top and then I'm going to get some, just some marine indoor outdoor carpet, put it down and go right up the sides. It had sides on it too, but I ripped those off. I didn't really care for them. So uh, I'm going to paint it down in there as well, clean it all up, and it uh, looks like a pretty good boat. These are the old seats that came out of it. I'm probably just going to clean them up and maybe sell them, I don't know, keep them, not sure. The only problem is the boat doesn't have regi or the uh, trailer doesn't have registration on it, but uh, he gave me a bill of sale for both, so I don't know, I might sell the trailer as is and get one with Reggie or try to apply for a Reggie on it. Needs a few things like this. Those are cheap on Amazon. I've been looking on Amazon for a lot of stuff. The reason I like this boat is it's a tri-haul. So it's got the front seating up front. I kind of like boats like that because otherwise they're kind of a wasted space, I find. But this way you can have a couple people sitting up here. I'm going to redo the cushions blue. The hull looks pretty good. There's a little bit of scuff in there, but he said it floats, no leaks. So, there's the other seat. There's the motor, Evinrude. Yeah, and I'll probably update the steering wheel. The glass is cracked there on the top. But, uh, anyways, yeah, it's going to be a fun little project. Put together. If anybody knows how this is attached, I don't know if there's screws in here to be able to get under there, but I want to take this off because it's cracked, eh? And you have it replaced. I know you take these screws out, obviously. And over on the other side, but uh, I'm not sure if it's attached down here underneath the dash. Looks like it'd be a bit of a pain to get out there. But, but yeah, kind of a cool little boat. projects and then I picked this up uh, I thought it was an Evinrude but it's a Johnson and this is another 70 horsepower Johnson but I think part of the uh, I think a lot of the parts will fit from this onto a Evinrude because Evinrude and Johnson I think are the same company or they were so the only problem is is the flywheel is a bit seized so I'm going to try, I put uh, ETF fluid in here, transmission fluid, and uh, I'm going to see if I can put a nut on there and break it loose. Otherwise I might have a, you know, might have a good running engine if I can get it running. Otherwise I got lots of parts. I got a prop and I paid 125 for that and I had to drive an hour away to grab it. So that's not too bad. Lots of parts there. I mean, a prop costs you, you know, a good prop, brand new is like 300 bucks. So, and you got a lower unit, everything. We'll, just, we'll see what it does. But uh, I think that lower unit might even fit this. And let's see what this prop here has got some damage on it. So, yeah, I don't know if that can be repaired or. I think what I'll do is take the prop off that other motor. Put it on here and just use this prop as a spare if you're stuck somewhere but uh yeah so that's my project i'm working on this is kind of the before picture so i'll have an updated uh, as we go along and and uh, uh we uh, spruce it up also picked up a new filter too for it so yeah yeah guys so uh stay tuned we'll uh and I'll do some updates on this. Ciao for now.